Welcome back. I am so excited and fired up about this PS episode because I was fired up about the one that is going to air that first week of January, really hoping that it motivates you guys and pumps you up. So this is a follow-up to that, right? This one is a PS. You chose to level up, so now what? Mm -hmm. So the first one in January that we recorded, I really wanted to motivate you guys. We Mm -hmm. wanted to support you in those goals that you were choosing because a lot of people review either. I kind of look at it as like, I do two reviews, but I think I'm blessed like that because my birthday is like in the middle of the year, basically. Mm -hmm. So like I review in the beginning, like New Year's Eve, beginning of the year. And then on my birthday, I'm like, hey, are these goals matching up? Is this what I want to do? So uh, we were hoping to have that first episode to support you guys. And now with this episode, we want to talk about, so we made the choice to do these goals or gratitudes or whatever we're deciding for this new year. Now what? Mm -hmm. So we're going to have an episode that will support this PS episode. Realistically, what I would like to focus on in this episode is how to make small choices, these um, kind of taking from atomic habits, these small actionable steps that lead up to these big changes overall and understanding that the big change isn't going to happen overnight. Mm -hmm. So Steph, what is a goal? Let's review your past year. What is a goal that you set for yourself and achieved and it took some time? So one of the goals I started much later than you, I think I started this in October was writing my goals and gratitudes. One of the goals I had was to obtain electronic health record by January for my business. Mm -hmm. And I achieved that by the end of November. So I got Mm -hmm. to take that one off. Um, What was another one? It definitely took time, right? Because I had to do the investigation. I had to make sure I had the funds to pay for it because it's a monthly fee. Mm -hmm. Um, I think another one was being able to quit the online platform that we we were using. And while I haven't like officially quit, I've stepped away from it. Like I haven't had clients in there for a couple of months now. But that took time to like- Yes, let's look at those two. Okay. During the time that you set those goals, did they feel- did it feel like you weren't going to be able to do it at times? Yes. I did not feel confident that I would be able to quit better help because I was nervous, right? Mm-hmm. Quitting anything is like nerve wracking. Right. And then the electronic health record, I was like, what if it's a waste of money? What if I can't figure it out? What if it's too overwhelming? And even when I was trialing the electronic health record, I was overwhelmed because I was like, yeah. I'm learning something completely fucking new. Of course, it's going to be overwhelming. Yes. How did you consistently get yourself to show up every day to support those goals? I would literally, when I was trialing the um, electronic health record, I would practice on it every day and I would watch these tutorials that they had Mm -hmm. every day. I made it a point, even if it was just 10 minutes, I made it a point to go on there, to search around, to navigate, to input things, to make sure it made sense to me. I had to practice just like anything else. I was Mm -hmm. practicing a new skill. And then with the quitting better help, it was a matter of having conversations with clients about, you know, my goal is to be done by the end of the year. Um, if you'd like to transition to me, you can feel free. There's no pressure, you know, like that kind of stuff. And it was just getting to the point where I was like, I can fucking do this. Mm -hmm. Right. I can do this. I don't, yeah. I don't need to stay tied to something that's not necessarily serving me. Absolutely. And really stepping into being able to bet on yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. Cause again, I think we get in our minds, this, this cognitive error, this black and white thought process of, I can't fail. Mm-hmm. I can't because if I fail, then I, I'm never going to be able to get to X, Y, Z or do X, Y, Z or B, X, Y, Z that I'm setting up for myself. When in reality, like the failure is a part of the process. Yes. Trial and error is necessary in order to take steps towards what you want to do or who you want to be. You are stepping into the unknown. There is no possible way for anybody to make the right choice when stepping into something that's unknown. And realistically, I think we all know my thought process because I scream this consistently. And I don't think there's good and bad or right or wrong. I think there are choices that you make that sometimes it affords you less lessons or gives you more lessons, but realistically you're still learning in the process. And that is the most important thing because consistently learning and pouring into your growth in whatever facet of your life that looks like is winning. You are winning that that is cultivating that happiness and releasing that, that dopamine, those, those um, happiness chemicals, because we're being productive. We're working on ourselves. There is nothing that is too small or too big to do to work on yourself. Mm-hmm. Like we'll talk about this later on. <clears throat> Realistically looking at though, breaking. So 
wanting to move out of this um, online platform and really kind of step into your own business, Mm -hmm. you have to make small actionable steps. Mm -hmm. It didn't look like, okay, it's October and um, next week I'll quit the platform. It looks like, okay, in what areas do I need to recruit more? What clients do I need to talk to? Do I need to open up other availability or maybe later appointments or earlier appointments just to transition in this transition period to eventually then be able to go out on my own? you know, do I need to make a sliding fee scale? Do I need to like all of these Mm -hmm. different things that are these small actionable steps that lead to the end goal or eventually getting you to that end goal. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. And also what I was going to say is, and we've both experienced this at, at different times, I think, and sometimes at similar times, when you make the decision to level up and you put the energy out, sometimes it comes flooding and you're like, fuck, I asked for way too much and now I'm overwhelmed and I can't take it. Right. And that's when you take a step back and be like, hold on though. This is what I asked for. Now you fucking navigate it. You made this decision. You wanted this and now you fucking make it work. Absolutely. 